my name, come up respect it. I ain't gonna say it no more. I knew a few places to do that. I could have pulled up, but I don't think y'all was gangster. Talk some shit like, well, you really would. Like, you should have made one of your little faggot ass little sons write a rap. Right. Because that shit really like pulled it in. <laughs> that shit really, that shit really like, that shit really like, that shit really like, that shit really like pulled it in. You feel me? Yeah. Man, come on, that dog. Like, you trying to call the radio, call the big boy, and you know? Oh, cancel the music. Let us sign the politicians. Like, you niggas really mad because you niggas can't rap better than me. So, y'all really just trying to look. Okay, people will try to take them out. Like, but in a hot man, fuck this pussy ass shit. Like, bitch, man, listen, I'm in my own lane. Y'all gotta come to me because this way y'all come at for the swag. This way y'all come to me for the. Man, stop playing, bitch, man. For real. This way I'm talking about. Kill my dog. <laughs> Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit you with a video. Now, this video right here is about the rapper T.I. and Kodak Black. A lot of you already know who T.I. is, of course, Tip, Tip Harris, Tiny, uh, The Family Hustle, all that great stuff. And you, some of you all may also know about Kodak Black, especially recently since everybody got all over his case, you know, about the remarks that he made to Laura London. And... For some reason, and I want to talk to the, the people that's somewhat intellectual, not saying that you all are dumb or anything like that, but I want to talk to people who can think and just have common sense because you have people these days more than ever who make an excuse for every damn thing. Now, when a man does something wrong and you get called out on it, you know what I'm saying? Not called out because last time I checked, T.I. didn't pick up the phone, call him uh, a bitch, call him a punk, call him uh the F-bomb and everything, didn't do anything like that. Just basically said, fix that expeditiously. You know T.I. walk with a dictionary and everything. So why would Kodak Black take it the wrong way when you were talking about Nipsey Hussle and may he rest in peace? The man only been in the ground like, what, 15, 16 days been dead? So why would you feel the need to come out right after this man was viciously, viciously, excuse me, murdered, you know what I'm saying, on cell phone, even though we can barely see the footage, but this man was taken out in a violent way. And the only thing you could do is get up and go play games with his wife. And I understand why Tip got mad. T.I. got mad. He had a right to get mad. All the rappers should have got mad. Everybody from Jay-Z on down. But one thing about it, it's amazing to me. See, it must be like a trend now to call out certain individuals while ignoring other individuals who called you out. For instance, it was more than T.I. that said that to Kodak Black. Yes, it was. It was Gilly the Kid out of Philly. Big shout out to Gilly the Kid and also the homie Benny, Benny Siegel. And it was also, even though Benny didn't say nothing, uh, the game, L.A., and also a host of other people saying things to Kodak Black. So why single out T.I. just because T.I. did a Crime Stopper commercial? You see what I'm saying? The man had got out of prison. Now, what he went for prison for, 100 guns, 10 guns, I don't know. I ain't seen no paperwork saying that T.I. was a snitch. And for those who don't know what paperwork is, that's your, your transcripts. You know what I'm saying? You go to court and all this. Whatever somebody said against you or whatever, you plead out, it's on this paper. That's paperwork. And if you snitch, it would be right there. You would have one, and the person that you snitched on would have one also because they, they got to know what's going on. So until somebody bring that paperwork to light, I don't know. Anything about no T.I. station, but one thing I do know is respect, R-E-S-P-E-C-T, or in Birdman's vocabulary, R-E-S-P-E-K, whichever one, respect or respect, whichever one. Now, anybody that say woo, 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 all the time, you have been talking to somebody, they go like, yeah, you know what I'm saying, I would chill them because they woo, 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 they woo, woo, they mean they lying, they full of shit, they bullshitting because of a person, especially a grown ass man, but I forgot, we still have a lot of boys who pretend to be men, you know what I'm saying? Not boys to men, but boys who are still perpetrating as men. You got the man age and the man look, but the man the man is not in the mind. It's a boy mentality that we are dealing with. So when you're dealing with people like a Kodak Black, you're dealing with an immature child. And a lot of people might say, well, it's where he come from. What the hell that's supposed to mean? You know what I'm saying? You have some of the baddest people come out the damn woods. Some some people come out the boondocks. If you don't know the man, I ain't talking about the cartoon with Eric Magruder. I'm talking about out the damn country. So it's not where you're from, it's where you at. Because last time I checked, guess what? You have strong men 
here, you have strong men there. You have strong men here, and you have strong men there. You also have weak men in certain cities. So not just because you're from a certain city, no matter if it's Florida, New York, Houston, LA, you have strong people there, you have weak people there. So I always talk about, well, such and so from, such and so from, the world is a ghetto. Have you not heard the song about the ghetto boys? Everywhere has a damn hood. Have you not heard that? But it's become a, a fashion and a fad right now to call out certain individuals while ignoring other people like the video 21 Savage did, basically snitching T.I., calling him a king rat of the South. Like I said, why don't these people produce paperwork? And also, shouldn't 21 Savage be in the UK since it was recently exposed earlier this year that he is a, uh, he's from United Kingdom? And big shout out to my people in the United Kingdom because I got a lot of subscribers over there. But shouldn't you be more concerned about that instead of worrying about T.I.? But it's kind of funny that well, nobody's saying nothing about T.I. until uh, this situation with him and Kodak. So it's like you always have people feeling some type of way about this man. Now, a lot of people take uh, constructive criticism the wrong way and the fact is you wonder why the older generation don't speak to the younger generation you know why because they do not listen to us they do not listen to us they disrespect see we were coming up in a time we was coming up time i'm not that old but we was coming up in a time where you had to respect the ogs you had to respect the, the older guys you know why because when you walked your ass out the house you would get beat down. You weren't pulling out no cell phone. One no cell phone. Only rich people had cell phone or drug dealers. You weren't pulling out no cell phones and all this stuff recording so you can go have them arrested. So when you said certain things, you had to back it up. But we live in an internet age where people can get on social media and talk all kinds of mess about people. But to bring this man's son in that whole situation, why call T.I. sons F-bombs? You know what I'm saying? Call them faggots. Let's just be for real. And, and excuse me for saying that because I don't like to even say that myself. You feel me? It's just as bad as saying the N-word to me. But why do that? Why disrespect this man's sons? One thing as men, one thing that we do, and even the movie Scarface showed you that for people who caught that part, the Al Pacino movie directed by Oliver Stone back in the day. It showed you one thing that real men, you so-called gangsters, we don't mess with women or children. We leave the women and children out of it. We deal with each other. So for you to call that man sons, faggots, the F-bombs, it's completely a lack of disrespect. And most likely, you know, you're digging yourself a bigger grave. I don't know if people think that this is going to go on forever. But, you know, we live up, we live in an age now when you wake up in the morning, you don't know what to expect. You, you'll see a damn Jaguar driving a damn helicopter or you'll see a damn turtle out running a damn Porsche. You don't never know what you're going to see. So when you see things like this, I just take it and I just say, you know what? This just goes to show you where we are today as a society some people like this type of mess most people don't but guess what though you know how are you going to compare yourself to a ti as being a better rapper ti is number one way more a better rapper anybody can say that and when kodak black first came out didn't he sound like he was singing disney raps and songs like that no disrespect to him or to his moving but you have to stay in your lane you have to stay in your lane ti jumped on your case because you disrespected Nipsey Hussle and Laura London. Also, whatever they got going on, that's they business. They have a child together. They was married. Her husband was just killed. So how you gonna sit up and say, well, a year from now, you know, uh, you will, you will want to be with me and all that. What kind of shit is that? Like she would want somebody like you, you know, and if she did, more power to it. I'm not here to say what she will and what she won't, may not want. But the thing I am talking about is this right here. You have to leave the kids out the situation. It comes a point where you have to be a better man. But I forgot, a lot of these people are not men. There are boys pretending to be men. You might see a manly body, an old man face, but guess what? The mentality, the soul, the mind is a boy, it's a kid. And you can hear them when they talk and you can see how they stand and everything, always grabbing on their crotch area. What kind of man is going to sit up here and grab on his crotch area while talking to other men? I don't understand that. Some of them be just playing with themselves like damn near. How y'all cool with that shit? And it goes to show you, evidently, this guy must not have no real people around him because a real man will sit up here and say, okay, that's enough. Talk about T.I. if you want to talk about T.I. See, my thing I said and noticed in the video, I didn't say that he shouldn't have talked about T.I. I'm saying this right here. He should have left the kids out of it. He didn't say nothing about Tiny yet, but should have left the kids out of it. That don't give you no props, no respect because you want to go with this man, kids. And if you're going to go at T.I., why not go at everybody else that called you out? Why not say something to the game since y'all think T.I., and I'm not saying uh, what T.I. is or not. I don't know him like that. You know what I'm saying? I just like his clothes and his music, period. You know what I'm saying? I like some of everybody's clothes and music, period. You know, I like a couple songs by Kodak Black. But thing is, 
you have to sit up here and think, what if somebody was saying it about my kids? And see, when you have this type of platform like a Kodak Black has, you were able to reach a lot of people. So it's not like you're just talking on the phone to a couple of your friends. you broadcasting this out. So you know this man got to respond. And this is the problem that we have in the black community right here is that you have people. It's like a pissing match. Like who got the biggest, who got the biggest wood match? Like how far can I piss? I can piss farther than you. And that's where it's going to go. See, one day it's going to be this. One day it's going to be that until it comes to an head. And have we not seen enough people die in this rap game? You know, and it's kind of strange that. You have people that don't even look like they're from America going at black rappers in America. And y'all want y'all need to think about that real quick. Put the 21 Savage together. And also, ain't Kodak Black from Haiti or somewhere? Ain't he Haitian or something? Was he born in the United States? Anyway, y'all think about that also. But leave the children out of it. The children don't deserve that. T.I. and Tiny have a very beautiful family. Much respect to them, you know, because he's trying to shed a positive light. He's trying to speak out, not as some God. Not as an elder, but as a bigger brother. And, you know, and that's what you should respect a person like him for, you know, because I would rather see him make that change instead of being the same old person. You know, there's nothing wrong with somebody changing. Just because a person used to rap and talk this way and do that, that doesn't mean that they shouldn't grow up and change. This man have kids and everything. Kids, watch this. You don't think the money... You don't think King them? You don't think his other kids watch World Star and you up there talking about them like that? But that goes to show you that there's no level of respect in this game no more. Let me know what you all think because I'm telling you, if this keep going on, you know, and we sit back and we don't say nothing, we just want to share it and enjoy it. Say, yeah, look at Kodak Black like some of these other bloggers. We're, we're, we're doing nothing but adding fuel to the fire. We are cancer also. So we need strong men to call it out. You see, you can't talk to the younger people no more. I know, trust me, because I tried. Some of them listen, most of them don't, because just like when I was young, I thought I knew everything. I get it. I really do get it. But it comes a day and age as you get older, and hopefully he'll live to see that age if he changes ways, because the way he's going, he's not. And I'm not wishing death on no one. I hope he lives forever. But what I'm trying to say is this right here. You're not making yourself look any good. I don't know if that's what you're here to do. I don't know if you're put here to cause division in the rap music, but we don't need anything like this. Why is black music, rap music, even R&B sometimes, but why is rap music so damn hostile? Why is it a pissing match? They don't do this in country. They don't do this in no other genre of music but black music. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing but demonic music because you have these demons up here just because you see them don't mean they ain't demons. You got these demons up here putting this bullshit out there on the airwaves every day and people eat it up and they give them something to talk about. The, uh, the, you know, the other bloggers that do this type of stuff. But I don't see anything funny with this. You all let me know what you think. And also, before you make any assumption, just think if he was talking about your kids. Just think if you were talking about your kids, calling your kids dead right there. Let me know what you all think. Because like I said, you shouldn't call nobody a snitch until you pull out paperwork. Until somebody present paperwork on T.I. snitching, he's not a snitch. Because if that's the case, we can say anybody's a snitch. We can say I'm a snitch. Where the paperwork at? Period. Point blank. Let me know what you all think. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely share this video with your family and friends. Remember, treat people the way you want to be treated. In order to get respect, you must give respect. In the moment Kodak Black see that, he'll be all right. You was very disrespectful. And instead of you apologize moving on, because when you came back and made that half-ass apology, you said that dude, you couldn't even call Nipsey Hussle name. You said that dude. I'm sorry about dude. So it goes to show you this guy have no respect. Some people just can't be reached. Let me know what you all think. I'm out.